Hey, pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive start of business coach. This video in particular was brought to you by my 50 point checklist. Check it out in the description below where I tell brand new business owners the 50 steps you need to take to start your brand new business. Let's get into it. Okay, so boo, before you decide to quit your job, these are the things that you need to learn before you leave, okay? The first thing is you need to learn how your job operates their systems and processes, okay? There are things that you do at your job it's on the factor of a process and a system. There are ways that things happen. There are ways that things get taken care of. And you need to learn that because if you're gonna be out here deciding to quit your job, you need to have processes and systems in place before you jump out on the porch and decide that you're going to become a brand new business owner. Okay, the second thing you need to learn is policy and procedure. Okay, there are policies that operate your job. Okay, there are there are procedures that operate your job. Okay, there are things that happen, right? Customers come in, clients come in. There are ways that you need to go about it. There's protocol. You need to create your own protocol for the brand new job or brand new business, sorry, brand new business that you're gonna be creating for yourself. Okay, you need to make sure you have all of these things flowing before you quit your job because you need to take these lessons that you're learning at your job seeing how do people process what they do how are procedures written how are policies written how are things taken care of if and when things go the proper way and also when things don't go the proper way right there are things that happen at your job when you're late there are things that happen at your job when you don't do the job correctly you need to have all of those things in place for yourself and learn from your job and not be in such a rush to get away from your job you need to learn what you need to learn from the people then you can move forward okay and the last thing you need to learn from your job is going to be a schedule and or a operation hours okay when you out here having your brand new business, you need to keep your own schedule and you need to keep your own business hours. That's like, for example, a client emails you at two o'clock in the morning. Depending on the kind of business you have, if you have business hours, many of us are not answering at two o'clock in the morning. Unless you the police and you the hospital, you which are, you know, needed things in the middle of the night now. If you're a plumber and all that kind of stuff, you might get a phone call at 2 a.m. But for those of us who are doing um, some of the I want to say regular day-to-day -day businesses when the business hours are somewhere between 9 and 5, you're not answering your phone at 2 o'clock in the morning. Same with for your own personal business. You're not responding to emails at 2 3 in the morning unless the kind of business you have calls for that. But at many of our jobs, we know on holidays we're off. Or we know on holidays you have to work a, a double shift or, or time and a half. These are the kind of things you need to create and come up with for your own business before you decide to quit your job so you guys i hope this was helpful again in the description below check out my 50 point checklist for the brand new business owner hashtag pretty gang in the comments and i'll be talking to you guys later bye you guys